Hello guys, in this video we're going to discuss uh, Physics 2D, right? It's a powerful tool that allows you to simulate physical behavior of objects in your game. This means you can create realistic and immersive game worlds if you want to, where objects interact with each other as they would do in the real world. Um, but before we jump into development of complex game worlds, let's just discuss basics. I have a square here, but I'm going to delete it. Actually, no, let's not delete it. Let's stretch it out. We can press T as a hotkey to stretch it like so. Then I'm going to press W to move it below. And I don't like to work with white color, so I'm going to change it to something uh, different. Let's select color over here. Choose something like so. Yeah, this is more, you know, I like it more. Okay. So we have a square and let's say now it's not a square so let's rename it to a platform platform good and i'm going to make another object 2d sprite circle and let's name it as a ball all right this is the ball i'm going to change color as well to know to what maybe something like so okay so now i have a ball and a platform and I wanted to jump on the platform like it would be a basketball or something like that. And at the moment, if I go to play mode, you can see nothing is happening in the game at all. Nothing, completely nothing happens. So what we can do to change it? We could give this ball a rigid body. And I'm going to exit out of the play mode because if I do changes in the play mode, they won't be saved when we exit this. So let's exit click add component on the ball we're going to type rigid body and because we work with 2d we're going to choose rigid body 2d now body type of rigid body has different and i'm going to tell you about them a bit later as of now let's keep it a dynamic and what we have here is a gravity scale you can see let's not change it as well let's not change anything and just go to play mode to see what will happen now we can see ball is falling, but it fell through the platform. It happens because even though these objects in the game, platform and a ball, they have visual representation of a circle and a rectangle, and ball has rigid body, they do not have a shape, because shape of the object is defined by colliders. That's what we're going to do. Colliders allows us to check collision between the objects. So for the ball, I'm going to click Add Component and I'm going to type here Circle Collider. Let's choose it. Now it is there and it's not visible because of the same color. But if I click this icon Edit Collider, I can drag it and I can see it's a bit different now. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click Ctrl Z to undo and keep it like so. What I want to do next is to choose Platform, Add Component, Box Collider. So now this one has a shape just like as its sprite. Let's click play mode and see what happens. Ball falls on the platform, which is really cool, just like what we need. I'm going to click the pause button here, move ball up, and I want to take my platform and change collider here. Let's increase it like so. I'm doing this to show you that indeed shape of the object is not defined by the look of it because this is how it looks right with this platform but shape the collision defines by the collider always so i'm going to move ball up and click pause and we can see it falls here again because it's touching the collider not the sprites same can be done with the ball if you want let me click pause and you can see how it behaves now so later in the future, if you have some object, you always need to adjust collider according to the visuals you have in the game. This is good. Let's go out of the play mode to reset changes we did. Now they have collider like it was before. And I want to show you some like a couple of tricks with the 2D physics that we can do. Because basically, as of now, it is all what you need to know <laughs> to make it work. Um, regarding the platform if we put rigid body on the platform and i go to play mode both of them gonna fall like so what you could do you could change gravity scale of the platform to zero and it wouldn't fall until ball touches it and they fall in both you could use constraints to change that for example, there is a freeze position x, y, and freeze rotation. 
And for the fun, let's just freeze position on the X and Y, but we're not gonna touch rotation. And I'm gonna place this ball over here. Let's see what will happen. And before we continue, I wanna say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Dmitry Bilitz, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. Let's continue. Cool, right? So you already can see how you can play with physics and how you can make different type of the games, even like this one. Uh, let's see if we take this platform and we're not gonna freeze anything here, but what we can do is to change body type to static. Static rigid body means that this object, this rigid body cannot move under any circumstances. It doesn't matter you apply physics to it, or anything like changing the position by using transform, nothing going to happen, it's not gonna move. However, there is another body type, kinematic. So kinematic rigid body is not affected by physics forces like gravity or collision, but it can be moved with a code by changing position or velocity. And body type dynamic, as it was said at the first place, is affected by everything. Affected by collision, gravity, velocity, everything is there. So basically it's like a full physics mode, half physics mode and no physics mode, something like, you could call it that, I guess. All right, so let's change platform to static. I'm gonna decrease it and I'm gonna select the platform and press Ctrl D to duplicate platform and place another one over here and I'm gonna rotate it like so and place it here, right? And let's make another one and just make a wall out of it. Wait a second. Mm. Like so, okay. So now what will happen to the ball if I lose it? Uh, just gonna fall there and roll over. Ew. Very funny, I like it. You could see even a little jump in the end. Now we could change ball to behave differently. We could increase gravity scale, right? Uh, let's say, no, this is too much. I'll try four. Now it will fall faster. And the last thing I want to show you here in this video is a physics 2D material. We're going to create 2D physics material. I'm going to call it ball material. Let's remove friction to zero, but increase bounceness to 0.5. And we're going to take ball, we're going to take rigid body and drag this ball material here. Now let's see what's going to happen. The ball is going to jump like so and bounce back. Yeah, so here are some aspects of 2D physics and collision, but again, we're just discussing, you know, like the top layer of it to give you an understanding how it could work. And we're gonna work with it more a bit later. As of now, I think that's okay. And we can go to next video, creating a new script and trying to control game object for the first time. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games, we make them.